Let's head to the Mastercraft kitchen to get Chef Mark's sweet treats. Oh, I know. I'll tell you what. Thanks, Mel. She's been very excited about the fudge. For once. Yeah, yeah. no, you're right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, baking today. Let's get into it. Let's go. Yep, yeah, baking two recipes. So, we've got a fudge and we've got a ginger crunch. So, we're going to start the fudge first. So, in here, yep. I've got some sugar. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of milk and I'm just sort of Brought it up to uh, brought it up to temperature, whisking it so you're starting to dissolve that sugar. Yes. Uh, sweetened condensed milk Ooh. goes in now. Okay, so sugar, sweetened condensed milk. Oh, this sounds yes. nice and, and rich. Pin pinch of salt <laughs> and a salt. bit of butter. A bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> and we'll and just break some, this all down. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Get it all in. You can still keep stirring it so it's all mixed in. And we've got some um, golden syrup as well. Oh yeah. Fantastic. So all we need to do now is bring all that to the bowl, melt it, mix it, bring it to the boil, and you want to boil it for about sort of five, six, seven minutes. Yeah. So it needs to get to a magical temperature of 114 degrees. Okay. And that will just activate all the sugars and make sure when it cools down, it will set. And right. that is your fudge. And then we're going to flavour it after. But okay. it's important now just to get it to that stage and then we'll flavour it later. Okay, cool. So do the flavouring a little later yep. on. Yeah, so we've got a little bit of coffee and a little bit of vanilla as well to mm. do that. Okay, cool. Right. right. I'll so keep watching this. Job one. Right, ginger crunch. Yeah, what have you got in that bowl? Right, so we've just got some butter, softened butter, at room temperature, and a little bit of sugar. Yeah. That's quite a lot of sugar. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, sweet treats, it's all right. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so we're just creaming it with a hand mixer. So get it on nice and fluffy. Yep. So a little bit more. So how do you know when it's the perfect fluffiness? Uh, keep going, it'll go paler. Right. And you, so you can already see like the difference in the colour of, of that butter and this butter. Nice. Jesse, we're, we're doing a bit of work today, aren't we? Oh, no, it's, it's, quite, it's quite busy. Long. It's very full on. Right, and then we've got some flour. Yeah. So just going to sift that in, and then we're just going to fold it together, and we're just going to make sort of a dough. Okay, so that goes in there. Got some baking powder and some ginger powder as well. Okay. So that goes in. Yep. We're just going to make a dough, so mix it, mix it around carefully. Get it all mixed together so you've got this nice dough, and then we're going to put it into this container. Okay. We're going to pack it down, and then you're going to bake it in the oven for about uh, 190 degrees for about 20, 25 minutes until nice golden brown. Right, and that's going to be your base for your ginger crunch. Yeah, so that's the base. And then whilst it's cooking, we're going to make the uh, glaze, the topping yep. for it. So we've got these ingredients here, but we can make that in a minute because it yeah. takes 25 minutes, so we've okay, got time. Cool. Right, well this needs a little bit more time to yep. keep boiling away and we'll come back very soon, we'll do the flavouring, we'll finish it off, the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Yeah, we're back in the Mastercraft kitchen. Welcome, Mel. How Thank you going? You. I'm Getting good. ready? Um, ready to do some work? I'm ready to do some stuff. Yeah. Okay, ginger crunch time. We prepared the base earlier. Yep, so Mike's done this. So it's just put it in there, smooth it off, and then that's ready for the oven. Nice. So when it comes out of the oven, this is what you're left with. So it's risen slightly, nice golden brown, and whilst it's still warm, we want to put the glaze on top. Okay, so what so am I doing? Mel's going to do the glaze. So all everything in, any yep. order? Yep, so you've got butter in there. So we just melted it's it just to speed it up. We've got some icing sugar, some ground ginger again and some uh, golden syrup. Oh, that looks so that good. all goes in, bring it up to the boil, make sure it's nice and smooth and all emulsified, and then that can be poured over the top, and then you have to score it, because it does set mm. quite hard. Yum. It smells right. incredible. Okay. Let's have a look at the fudge. Yes. So the fudge has been cooking away. Yeah. So you see, you start to get getting a little bit of colour there. So we know the sugar's getting to that sort of temperature. So are you, you going to do that ball test? That's how you know it's ready to put near you know, to set. Oh, this is a top tip for you, Mel. Okay. <laughs> we'll yeah. find out well, you soon. put it into water. You put it into the water, so you know. Then you know if it, if you know you do, if it goes into a little ball, drop it in the water. Then it's um then it's, it's sort of like it's really it's a softball too, stage. Yeah, oh, softball nice. stage. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. Not Jeez, just Mark, a pretty we don't need you anymore. <laughs> we yeah. can't all do it by look like Mark can. Well, we're going to flavour it, aren't we? Yeah. So yeah. we're just going to pull it off the heat now. Yeah. So ideally, let it cool down for a minute or so because it is really hot. It is really hot. Um, little bit of vanilla in there yeah and then we've got a little bit of coffee as well okay so we're and using the Makuna coffee and that's from the Peter Alexander limited edition yep. range that's it nice work and I tell you what once you've used your coffee these very cool jars can be reused so just go to the website makuna.co.nz to find out how to reuse them well I was thinking about that you could drink all the coffee make yep. the fudge yep. chop it up put it in give it someone for Christmas you got a fudge jar that's there a very go. good idea Okay, nice work. Yeah, right, everyone. so coffee goes in, mm -hmm. and you're just going to stir it. It's just going to dissolve, dissolve into the fudge and flavour the fudge. Oh, I can smell it already. It smells incredible. Right, we've got That's a non -stick ginger tray. I'm <laughs> just going to spray it, just lightly with some spray grease. Yeah. Just so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Pop that down. That's it. Take it off the heat now. Okay, can you, you do it. that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to yeah. ruin it for you. Yeah, you Getting a little bit it. hot. All right, so just make sure it's. 
it's all nice and smooth and it's together. And then we're just going to pour it in there and then you want to let that set. Let it set at room temperature. Yep. And then pop it in the fridge so it really sets and then you can carve it. Okay, I'll tell you what, it's we'll come nice back. Okay. Cube. Right, so this is nearly ready. So let's pour that over the cake. Okay. Oh, you pour and I will throw to the break because we'll come back very soon and see the finished product. Can't wait to try these.